Can I just interject there, man? I'm just going to mm. go on a bit of a, a tangent, a bit of a rant. Yeah. It fucking pisses me off when, you know, when I tell people I, I, I exercise every day, you know, I move my body every day and people are like, oh, no, that's not healthy. You should really rest. I just gave the example of how much we sit down, how much yeah. rest, you know, do you have. And then you, then you get people, you know, it's, Oh, I was going to go down the massive rabbit hole, but I won't do that. <laughs> um, what is love? But you, <laughs> but you get, you know, say doctors who just because they wear a white coat, you know, automatically give them power and they're telling yourself just to move two to three times a week and you'll be fine. Mm. Like, holy fucking shit, two to three times a week, let's just round up to three, right? And let's just round up that you're doing an hour, right? More than likely you're not moving for an hour, more than likely you're at your gym for an hour, you know, but you're not, you're not moving. Yeah. Um, you're sitting down on a bike or doing something. Um, and I don't want to discredit that. Any movement's better than no movement, but you get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, no, no, no. The, the doctor said that, you know, um, I should be really careful. I should, only, I should only exercise three times three times a week. Man, there's still four other good days to, to move your body. There's still four other opportunities to get better. There's still four more opportunities to get out, get some vitamin D, ground yourself, earth yourself, walk your dogs, walk along the beach barefoot, you know, do it first thing in the morning, reset your circadian rhythm with, with morning sunlight. You know, mm. there's, there's so many, there's so many barriers for exercise. And this is another thing that kind of grinds my gears is like everyone knows the benefits of exercise, right? Everyone, everyone knows that. So why don't we do it? Which is, which is one question, but here's one answer, is you have these uneducated professionals. Now, I'm talking doctors are very educated, but maybe when it comes to physical performance, I know a shit ton of doctors that uh, are not physically able to do many things, right? Their mobility, their flexibility, their, their posture, maybe they're overweight, um, Maybe they use, you know, uh, maybe they put their hands on their knee when they sit up out of their, uh, out of their, their, their chair. They can't even stand up without using assistance, you know. Mm -hmm. So they are educated, but I don't think they're educated and qualified for telling people not to move their body. I think that is an absolute ludicrous recommendation. Yeah, there's, there's like three things I want to say um, in response to that. Number one, um, human beings, uh, to give you my answer as to, you know, why people don't do this is because the the only thing stronger um, than the will to survive is the will to remain stuck in a story because to not be who you are is scarier than, you know, trying to be someone else. So um, perception of your own limitation is, uh, you know, sometimes people even know that, but they are not willing to become someone else because it's scary to swim between two egos, you know. Um, the second thing, we talk about people who are educated already. The implication is at some point in time, I wrote and read and studied and learnt. but life, especially given the internet, especially how much access we have to online journals and things. Now I have a bookmark website on my Google page that gives me access to every peer reviewed journal in the psychological literature like that. That has never ever before been accessible to people that aren't high up in that world. And it's incredible that we can do that now. But to be educated is an ongoing thing, always reading, always learning, because what was right 30 years ago is not right today. And mm. I think um, no matter, it comes down to a temperamental thing, you know, some like psychologists, psychiatrists, scientists, any ology, the study of, um, if you don't absolutely love it, you're not going to be interested in finding out more. You're going to go to degree and then it's going to become like a job like any other. You know, um, you have to stay up to date. And this is what I love about the internet is because it's breaking the barrier and people are starting to wake up and wake up and what label actually is. Now, obviously, you and I aren't discrediting all of these individuals, but we are saying that it's important to seek your own truth and recognize who actually practices what they preach because do as I say, not as I do is a very outdated model. And like you, my friend, I would not go to someone that hasn't really lived it and then come out the other side. Yeah, absolutely, man. And, you know, we can even go deeper on that as well. I, I love the surface level technology advancements and the, the access that we have, but again, it's surface level. 
um, to to be able to bookmark your or peer-reviewed studies, you're going to have to have a growth mindset, don't you? You didn't just learn what you learned and go, sweet, boom, I know it all. I'm going to stop my learning in this area. Yep. It's like, cool, I know shit all. That's why I have to continue to grow. And so what happens is when, when, these, when this fixed mindset happens from, say, people who learnt, you know, old outdated methods 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and they're still giving those recommendations now that you shouldn't, you shouldn't exercise every single day. It's bad for your body. Um, Depression is a chemical know. imbalance. Yeah. It's, it's like, man, you've got a fixed mindset. If you're going to anyone who cannot give you an alternative or uh, some sort of action step that doesn't put you in a box, then you need to go and find someone else because a lot of these people then, once they, once they get given the approval to stay where they are, like you said, identity and growth and stuff like that, it's like, oh, I don't have to do the work. I now no longer have to grow. Growing takes work. It takes time. It takes effort, okay, and it's damn uncomfortable. All growth, you know, this is a well-known saying, all growth happens outside our comfort zone. And so when you go to the doctors, now we're just using doctors as an example, but mm -hmm. you can put this in any category of your life. You go to the doctors and they say, hey, you know, um, you've got a shoulder injury. Hey, you should rest up for the next two weeks. All of a sudden, for most people, certainly for all people that have a fixed mindset, they take that. It's just like, huh, I need a rest for two weeks. The yeah. doctor put me in this box and I can't move out of this box. He didn't say do legs. He didn't say do your other arm. He didn't say get your mum and dad and go for a walk with them. Yeah. You know, walk the dogs or uh, instead of sitting down at a cafe for lunch, how about you get a takeaway coffee and you go walk and, and, and think, you know, he says rest. And then for two weeks, people go backwards. Hmm. And as a healthcare system, it ain't a healthcare system. That's not promoting health. It's promoting sickness.